uh, as I said, a, a, a really weird year. And as many of you might remember, uh, uh, aside from all the, the election craziness, we spent a lot of time trying to decide where men who dress like women can poop. Now, <laughs> I'm not addressing this issue as somebody who cares one way or the other about the transgender community. Do what you got to do. I'm fine with that. None of my business. However, as someone who shits a lot, I want to make sure we're not putting red tape in between me and that fucking toilet, okay? We do not need that in America. I do not need somebody standing outside the door at Target with a clipboard going, show me your dick. I'm like, come on, man. I got the squirts. Here's the thing. This is a controversy that was not thought through, right? Like, for two things. First of all, let's say a man which I don't think this happens, but let's say a man goes to the trouble to dress up like a woman so that he can go into a bathroom and watch another woman poop. If the woman that he's watching poop has a dick, is that a bingo? Do you win a free ham for that? What happens in that situation? And like you realize the best way to get people to do something is to tell them not to do it, right? Like I just picture like, these groups of men sitting around like, gentlemen, I know tonight is poker night, and I know we were gonna play some cards and then maybe make some lunches for the homeless and then have a prayer circle and then meet back here for shots of tequila. I clearly don't know what people do for fun, but it's something. <laughs> but I understand there are some hot, hot ladies taking some sweet, sweet shits. <laughs> so here's what I propose to you, my friends. We go on YouTube, we spend nine hours watching tutorials. We learn how to apply makeup, because I know you're thinking to yourself, putting on a woman's makeup, it's like jumping in a pond. You're just gonna swim, but I assure you, sir, it is an art and a craft, okay? I need to make these baby blues pop, I need to round out this jawline a little bit, I need to put a little depth in those cheeks, do you see what I'm saying? Then, we're heading out to the outlet mall. Again, I wanna, I'm boxy, I wanna round this shit out, I wanna make the badunka dunk a little more subtle, and I don't need to, like, be able to go on a drag show, I just need to not raise any attention when I'm walking through the place. And then we're going to find some place with a lot of poop traffic. I'm thinking like a Qdoba or something like that. And then we're going to watch some hot, hot ladies drop some sweet, sweet shits. Now who's with me? Katoosh, katoosh, katoosh. Like if you're doing that, how do you think women poop? You know what I mean? All you're gonna get is a little bit of knee. When women poop, they're not like, yeah, I got the shit. Mm, yeah. Oh, I gotta squeeze my nipples when I pinch this out. I got dysentery. Mm, mm. You bitches like corn, cause here comes some. Oh, mm, yeah. Oh. I heard this story about this guy. It was on the radio. He would go to music festivals, and he wouldn't cross-dress to do it, but he would crawl into the, the porta potties and then look up while people did their business on him. And that's horrifying, but to be honest with you, if it's that important to you, enjoy the show. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. So like, I feel like most women, if, if you saw a guy peering in at you while you were doing your business, you'd probably be like, mace. But I know like, like, 99% of women would do that. 1% of women, however, would definitely be like, I guess some people can't get enough Brenda, right, motherfuckers? <laughs> Is there some place you'd rather watch me shit with like a brick backdrop or something like that? Because I am willing to work with you. 